Hi, my name is Sarah Cousins. Um, I'm here in our processing barn um, at Heritage Farm. I'm going to walk you through our process of uh, extracting seed from tomatoes. So this variety is called Bradley Pink. It's a tomato from our collection. It's a really beautiful heirloom tomato. Um, and I'm going to show you how we save seed here. Tomatoes are a really great thing um, to save seed on in your garden because they are seed ready when they're also um, market mature. So they're really easy to identify. If you have a beautiful ripe tomato, then you know um, you're likely going to be able to get some good seed out of that as well. Tomatoes are a crop that need to ferment for a few days before um, the seed is ready to be decanted and washed. Um, and so it's kind of a, a multi-step, multi-day process. Um, so I'm showing you step one now, and then we'll come back and I'll show you the rest of it um, after a couple of days when we've had some time to ferment. Um, so the best way to extract tomato seed is to cut the tomatoes along the equator. So right in the middle like that, you slice it in half, you've got the top the, and the bottom, the blossom end, and you can see that really exposed a lot of the seed nicely. Um, and so I will do that and then um, the best way to extract the tomato seed that I've found is just by giving it a squeeze. And that will keep a lot of the pulp out, but get most of the seeds and the juices um, in your container. So what you really want is a little bit of liquid in with your seed and that the sugars on the tomato and the liquid um, from the tomato seed will really help the seed ferment. And the reason we're fermenting the seed is you can think about a tomato seed having that gelatinous coat on the outside and we really want to break that down. Um, that can be a germination inhibitor and it can just be harder to clean off and um, make it harder for the seeds to, to dry. Um, so by spending a couple of days kind of sitting in its own juices, um, that seed, that uh, coating will break down and the seeds will sink to the bottom of this container and be really easy to clean and extract out. Um, another benefit of fermentation is that if there are, you know, bacteria or fungal um, pathogens on the seed coat, fermentation can really help um, mitigate some of those issues that you might have. Um, and so I will just cut all of my tomatoes and keep squeezing until I have a nice, almost full container. So another thing that happens when things ferment is they'll expand a little bit. So you don't want to fill it all the way to the top because then you might have um, seed that's overflowing. So you want to leave a little bit of room at the top of your container if you have a lot of seed to process. Um, so that is step one of tomato processing. Okay, so we have just squeezed some of our tomatoes to extract the seed. Um, there are a couple of buckets here. You can see what they look like right after they've been squeezed. You can see already there's some nice bubbling, some fermentation that's happening. These were squeezed about an hour ago, and so you can see that that activity kind of starts to pick up right away. So now we're looking at some buckets that were where the seed was extracted um, yesterday. So you can see there's a real nice distinct layer of mold that's happening in some of these. Um, there's kind of this like thick film at the top um, and the seed and pulp is starting to float to the top. So in these clear containers, you can actually see what's going on. The pulp and the seed is floating as it ferments. You can see there's some bubbles in there. Um, and then the, there's a liquid layer at the bottom. So this is how I can tell that things are going to be ready to extract. And so another good way is when I have that multi-layer um, happening, I can come in and give it a quick swirl. And you can see that there's seed that's sinking. That's a really good indicator that it's ready to decant and wash. Um, all of the seed that's sinking to the bottom is the good heavy seed that we're going to be keeping. Um, so another trick I do with these buckets that I can't see into is if it has a nice white layer, 
I can come and I can tilt the bucket a little bit and see some clear liquid up at the top and you can see the film kind of just floats itself. And so this is a bucket that's great and ready to decant and clean, which I will show you next. Okay, so we have our um, bucket that we're gonna clean and decant now. This is a tomato called Charlie's Pride and Joy. Um, it was a really nice, big heirloom, um, kind of heart-shaped tomato. Um, so the first thing I like to do is to add a little bit of water. Um, I'll add some water. And this helps kind of agitate the seed. And like we saw in the green deli, or the clear deli tubs, um, that seed will sink down to the bottom. So I'll come in and I'll agitate the seed a little bit. And that just helps kind of separate the layers of pulp and seed. Um, so you can see in here, there's still some seed up top, there's some bubbles, there's some pulp. So this first pour, I'm gonna pour and I'm gonna keep. So, I'll pour almost everything out and you can see there's just a little bit of liquid uh, at the bottom. And if I kind of swirl it around, you might be able to see the seed down there. And so this is the first um, bit that we're gonna clean and work with. And then I'll come back and I'll, I'll get the rest of the seed that's out in that first pour um, in a little bit. So I'll just repeat this process. So you can see now the water's a bit more clear. There's not as much seed floating to the top. You might see a few small um, seeds floating to the top, but if you're seeing that at this stage, those seeds are probably underdeveloped um, and they're not actually gonna be viable. So the second pour, I'm gonna pour over here into this strainer that will be our compost. So this will this will just be trash eventually. Um, so I'm not concerned about things floating out there. I'm trying to get as much pulp out as possible. And I'll pour right until the very end. And you can see all that beautiful seed there. And I'll pour as much as I can without pouring that seed out. So tomato seeds are really great because when they're um, viable, they sink to the bottom. And so that makes them pretty easy to clean. And I'll do that one more time, just to make sure I'm getting all those little bits and pieces out. So I'll let the seed settle to the bottom for a moment. And you can see the, the liquid is getting nice and clear. And I'll leave it one more pour out, not saving any of the liquid that comes out here. And so now you can see there's tons of seed down there. It looks really great. Um, it's getting nice and clean. And so the last step in cleaning it is getting a strainer that has holes that are smaller than the seed. So I'm hoping to capture the seed in this strainer while pouring the last little bits of pulp out. So I'll just pour that into this strainer. And then give it one last rinse to get any of the extra pulp out. And you can see there, I have some nice, beautiful, clean tomato seed. And then over on this side, I have another strainer with a coffee filter. And I'll just slap the seed in there. And I will leave it in this strainer with a coffee filter and the coffee filter will wick the moisture away from the seed. And I'll leave that with fans blowing on it for a few days until that seed is nice and dry. And then the final step is just bagging it up and storing it um, in our, our seed coolers.